Welcome back to my second channel guys. We're gonna have a little segment called Adam Lay the Noob shoots a 12 gauge super magnum ultra mag and a 10 gauge. Now this 10 gauge, I'm not even gonna shoot it, but we're not gonna tell Adam because he may turn around. I guess I kinda just said it. But anyways, first things first, we're starting him out. This is a 12 gauge, three and a half inch mm, turkey load. Yeah. Two ounce. I don't know if y'all can say that. There it is compared to my hand, guys. It's huge. All right, get ready, Adam. You're just gonna shoot it into that target. First, you gotta put the shell in. All right, here we go. We'll just well, let's put our ears on first. By the way, guys, if you want to pick up any merch, you can get that shirt, that hat, that hat, or this shirt. Not those socks, but still. KendallCraig1.com slash off or first link in the description. Help us out, support the channel. Anyways, here we go. Drop it in, just shove it up, and now you're ready to shoot. Just aim at anything. Probably gonna hit it all anyhow. Hold what? on to it. <laughs> just hold on to it. Hold on to it. That's what you, what do you use this for? Don't shoot it before you mean to. Right, point it up and shoot. Put safety off. <laughs> feel like <laughs> that's just a 12 gauge now we're moving on to 10 all right how's it going adam let's hear how's it going finger hurts your finger hurts oh my gosh let's see the big 10 gauge same thing as that other time adam just walk over there pump it forward and i'll come and drop the shell in now this one is a 10 gauge with gauges the smaller number the bigger this one is also I think 2.5 ounce loads or something like that three and a half inch as well Adam's still trying to walk it off. His shoulder's probably going to bruise. <laughs> Let's get the 10 gauge first. Are we ready? Hand over the gun. Now, Wait, on. what gun is that? This is a Browning VPS stalker. Oh, and it, it shows it shoves the shells out the bottom, which yeah. is really awesome. Why would anybody want this? Well, I, I, I turkey hunt and then for geese. We quoted Adam earlier saying, I want one that kicks big. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Oh, how do you drop a shell in that? Since it goes on the bottom. Here, we'll just do, do it like that. I want to see you shoot it. All right, now we'll let him just cock it. Here you go, Adam. Pump it right there. I want to see you shoot it. No, hey, yeah, put your ears in. Put your ear protection in. You better. Yeah. All right, now just show it up I'll and shoot. There. We're going to be right here. Just rack it in there. <laughs> I don't want to shoot this. All right, here we go, Adam. Let's go. What's, what's the proper stance here? Same way you done it the first time. I feel like it didn't help. Yeah, it did a little bit. It did. Yeah. You can fire it one hand, but that's not the best stance. All right, here we go. 10 gauge super ultra rum mag special. It's a big gun. It's huge. All right, first step. Get it, pull it off the ground. I don't want to shoot this. I know. Throw it up there and shoot it. I don't want to. Go ahead. It ain't going to kick bad. About like 410. God. Now just shove it forward and you'll be good. Now just push it forward, I think. All right, you're good. Safety is forward. Or, uh, yeah, push it forward and it'll be ready to shoot. No, up top on top. <laughs> all right, safety's off. I don't want to shoot this. All right, well, go on. You have to. You're staying for the same steel plate. It's all right. That's just your finger. Don't stick your finger all the way in the trigger guard, though. That middle finger got hurt. Oh, that's interesting. I think it went, it went. Right, ready? Grip. We're ready. Go ahead. Tight grip. Yep, hold it tight. Maybe that's why my hand slid up. Yeah, just grip it. Point it down range first before you touch the trigger. But if you shoot right there, it's going to cut out all of our legs to pieces. Oh, this thing's heavy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it feels light, it hurt. Here we go. Oh, Yo, hurry. I'm nervous. Just do it. If you get scared of it, you ain't going to be good with it. Wow. It can sense fear. It's like a chihuahua. Show you how you handle that. That would kick harder. Huh? You mean the 12 gauge kicked harder? He's probably already used to it. How many are you gonna shoot? Three? Oh. Full sin. <laughs> Full sin, baby. Ear protection on, and uh, we're about to see some Bruce's things made. Whoa, Man. what is all this? What is this? There's stuff flying it's like no. I see your arm. Oh, you're bleeding. Not really, kinda. Look. Let's see my shoulder. <laughs> <That's their baby. laughs> anyways, guys, I'm not going to shoot it because I just had surgery. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. KendallGray1.com slash shop or first link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe since this is Kendall Gray 2. But one more thing before we do end the video. We're going to go look at, take a look at the steel plate. But what did y'all both aim with? Did you both aim for the same thing? Yeah, I kind of knocked it down. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, man. This steel target used to only have, like, you know, a few holes. <laughs> now it's literally peppered to death, guys. Like, the stand is broken. The stand is broken. That is interesting. Where? Right there. Oh, gosh. That's crazy. That's wild. That is wild. Oh, man. Hey, check this out. The pattern was so wide that some of the BBs came over here and hit the little, uh, we call this iron board. Oh, yeah, it probably was. One right there, there, here, 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 all around here. Yeah, it's still gonna hurt somebody. Yeah. Hurt somebody bad. Dude, some of the some of the pellets came up here. That's where it hit the dirt and gravels flew up or something. Anyways, guys, that's what a 10 gauge does to a noob. Sign us out, Adam. How you feel? Don't let battle scars, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They only get better.